Okay, folks, it's time. We sat down together. We had a really serious conversation about Rick and Morty season five. Because it's looking like a double wide surprise. God damn. So we can't be the only po- people on earth who've, who've realized this at this point. Every normal thinking human being should think this. I have seen so many shill articles about why season five Rick and Morty is so great. It's kind of makes me want to so vomit great. my mouth. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell you how many articles I've seen. It's crazy. But clearly the message is getting out that season five sucks donkey balls. Every episode has been either very, very mildly entertaining or subpar to complete trash. Yeah, because right now, and we're looking at the tomato meter, uh, the critics have it at 100%. Because they're tools. Audience score, 54%. That is shocking. I mean, there's only 118 people. Still, I think that's shocking that we've seen enough TV and enough of these reviews that people don't even bother to review half the shows. Go back to like, go to season like one or two and see what they, what they rate them. Okay, well, I was going to show you. We're, we'll go through the episode breakdown too. Uh, just to give everybody an idea. But like season four, which I thought was a pretty strong season. It wasn't the best, but it was pretty. 84, 84% audience score. Let's season go back. two and three, I think, <clears throat> were the best ones. Season three? 95%. 95%. Season, season two. two. Oh, what did I click on? 84. Oh, no, season oh wait, no, that's season four, four again. I clicked on, it's, I'm too fast. Too fast on the trigger. 98%. 98%. Yeah. So In season one, which I, I think is good, but I think it was a little weak. I mean, it was just starting off, so... Um, but as Noob Noob pointed out, the score is clearly dropping precipitously. So let's yeah. just check season one. Season one says 97%. Yeah. So basically, season five is a piece of dog shit. Yes, and as we said, we're not the only ones who've realized this. Obviously, the tomato meter realized it, but so does Reddit. Rick and Morty sucks... Or Rick and Morty season five sucks ass. <clears throat> Dan Harmon is basically an NFL player that got the big contract and is like, you know what we're going to do? Not try anymore and get fat. Except yes. Dan Harmon's he, already fat. So he's going to get fatter and less funny. Yeah. Or try less hard. I feel like that's what happened to Community too. Like the show was really good and then he got lazy and then it sucked hard and then got canceled and he left. Yeah, because as soon as he got his money, because he got his 70 episode order or whatever it was, he's just like, yeah, I don't care. See you later, folks. I, I I feel like we had discussed which NFL players he was like. Albert Hainsworth? Yeah. yeah. The guy who just like, was he an offensive lineman? Who he just was a defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. I feel like the Patriots had a guy too, who just like got fat and stopped caring, which is pretty much what we're saying here. So let's just look at some of the episodes because they're so unremarkable. It's kind of hard I, to even remember I them. I barely remember other than like a very small instance of each episode. So the first episode, which was okay, uh, had the the introduction of Rick's arch nemesis, Mr. Nimbus. Who never showed up again. Who's never been in a season and just randomly, like that's one thing they do, they'd seem to do, which I'm okay with, but they don't care about tying anything together. And in fact, this the, the next episode, in fact, proves that they don't care but that first episode was mildly entertaining but wasn't especially funny especially considering that the guy's supposed to be like rick's arch nemesis yeah and all he did was want to have sex yes which was kind of weird and but sign ndas yes and then there's uh the multiplicity one which uh was devolves. horrible yeah at some point you're just like you know there's squid people who are actually you know rick morty and his family just killing each other over and over and over again because they all have like duplicate. Like the joke was funny the first like And then it was five 30 minutes, minutes of the same thing. Of the same joke over and over again. And them adding like wooden people, not they funny. It got weird. The one funny part was the uh, the final joke with Jerry. Yeah, where he's like going Jerry's through a whole for, society uh, yeah. and he won't die. Yeah, and he's just being tortured for forever. It's kind of funny. It's not like the funniest thing ever, but like of a bad episode, it was pretty funny. 
The Rick coming and Mort. That was the what? The Planetina and the weird alien sex episode. Which I thought went off to a good start. I may say that that was the best episode of all of them. But by the third act of that show, uh, they seem to have forgotten. Like, Morty has the rings to summon Planetina. Like, is she real? Is she not real now? Does she have, like, power over herself? Like... Basic, like even stupid plot points just for Rick and Morty didn't even bother to address. They don't care. They like they didn't care enough to finish the script. It's like let's do a, pl- a Captain Planet spoof, but we'll make her a female, and Morty will have sex with her, and that's this funny. Wh- whole season seems like it's about Morty having sex. Yeah, this man is a child. It's yeah, he's fourteen. Can we please stop? It get, it's getting uncomfortable. We don't appreciate it. Please stop. Because they're like, you know what we're going to have them do in season or episode three? Have them have sex with a, summon, a summonable planet woman? Yes. In episode four, we're going to have them fuck a horse machine. Yes, he's going to bang a horse machine. Which and then he's going to have sperm. a baby with his sister. Yep. I mean, look, I don't care about gross jokes. I don't care about like incest jokes. They're fine, but they're not. It would be fine if they were funny, but they're not funny. Like... And then what was They're the, just not funny. There was a joke with what the Kurds or what the hell was the the, the sperm? Hor- oh, the the chuds. Chuds. There we go. The chuds. horse chuds, where yeah. Rick has a baby with the horse person. Was not that funny. I didn't laugh. There was one funny joke in that one where uh, Rick was like, "Morty, how was he?" He's like, "It was amazing." And then he like gets captured. Yeah. So one funny. Jo- I mean, for for a show that literally revolutionized like comedy, where they were talking about like how much how many jokes per minute they were they were throwing at the screen. And for this, it's just, it's dead. It's lifeless. It's like a fat NFL player sitting on his ass after he allows his quarterback to get tackled. And then the last episode, I literally don't remember what happened. Oh, that's the one where they take the car. Oh, they with take the, the space the, car. There was like, it was, it was again, not funny at all, but mildly amusing. First of all, the Hellraiser spoof part with like Jerry, how cringy Jerry yeah. is, just not funny there's nothing to laugh about there yeah we all know that that he's cringy and stupid and you know jerry Oki is dumb but it just the jokes don't land at all anymore i like the i like the part where the 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 ship is you know trying to get galactus or whatever to eat the bait and then she blows out his brain or whatever but it's it still didn't make me laugh i was amused but did not laugh no laughs here. And this is only a seven uh, episode season, so I don't know what they're just, they literally have given up. Yeah, how are they going to get 70 episodes out? They're going to do 10 more seasons of this? Like, yeah, I know you signed like some big Joe Rogan $100 million contract, bro, but like, do you really have to give up on life? Please fix this shit for next season. Or, or we're out. Just kill yourself. Yeah, you've taken something that was subversive and amazing and a cult classic, and now you've turned it into mainstream trash. Like, just straight up garbage. We're very disappointed in you. The writing on Dragon Ball Z is better than this. And the writing on Dragon Ball Z sucks. I'm just in it for the screaming (laughs) power-ups. He's just in it for the screaming. I'm just in it for the screaming. It doesn't even have any screaming power-ups. It doesn't. I just, I don't, uh, what what happened, man? I don't know. Was it the drugs? It's the lack of likes and subscribes for our channel. Clearly, it's the lack of likes and subscribes. So make sure that you like... And subscribe, or Noob Noob might do something crazy. If you want to just take a hammer and beat that like button like Morty took his penis and beat Planetina with it, that'd be great. We'd appreciate it. Be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast, which we live stream and do giveaways and other fun things on Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to subscribe to the audio podcast. You can get that on all things podcast, like iTunes, Spotify, stuff like that. Google Play. Real important stuff. Just, you know, search our reviews will kill you. Our. Our, not our. Our our reviews will kill you. Like a pirate. Yar. Or just Google Ork you. I'm sure it'll come up. We have like 8 million episodes. Yeah. Keep on keeping on as we go on to the next one. (laughs) 